If you have a Kittle subscription, you're well aware of the amazing templates and the artificial intelligence. However, in this video, I'm going to be using AI tools, and I'm not really going to be focusing on making AI designs myself. And I'm going to be going here to AI Art Feed, and I've got some tips on how you can maximize the use of this awesome tool inside of Kittle. Let's jump in. And by the way, you'll want to watch to the end of this video. I actually have a really cool bonus tip near the end that may not be intuitive even if you're using AI artwork on a regular basis. If you're new to Kittle and you like what you see in this video, make sure to check out the link in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on the link and you purchase the Kittle subscription, I would receive a small commission. Okay, so to get to the AI tools, it's at the top, top menu, and I'm gonna go right down here to AI Art Feed, find and use stunning AI art. You're gonna see a whole bunch of different artwork that pops up. My first tip is, to not get overwhelmed with looking through all of these designs necessarily, although that is a lot of fun, but you can also look on the top right. You can see sort by trending, also sort by recent, and most used is really nice, especially for seasonal designs. When I go to most used, you're going to see a lot of fall and Halloween designs pop up. Not all of them, but you'll see some skewing towards that, and it'll change at Christmas, Easter, that kind of thing. So you can really take a look at what designs are popping during various times of the year. There's also hashtags, and so I could click on, for example, anime. We've got anime designs and lots of different hashtags. You can also just use the search feature at the top too. I've typed in cat, and we can see here there's a bunch of cat designs that come up. So lots of different ways that you can search, and I would encourage you to try these out, not just look through the feed. Okay, so I'm scrolling through these images and I'm wondering if there's anything here good to use. Oh my goodness, so many options. I like this one over here with the skull. And to use the image, simply click on it. It's gonna pop up and then you can just click use image right here and that will actually just open up in your projects inside of Kittle as if you've created the design yourself. And there it is. Now you've got a background and an artboard. So when you go to the artboard on the top right, you're gonna see it's 1200 by 1200. That's the default. If you wanted to use this design in a different artboard, it's pretty easy to do. There's a couple ways to do it. One is to simply click on the image and then you can copy the image. From here, you can go into a new project. So I'm just gonna click on the Kittle icon on the top left. I'm gonna click on new project. From here, I'm gonna pick my POD preset. Maybe I'll pick a desk plate, for example, which is quite a bit bigger than 1200 by 1200. I'll just make my background a bit darker so you can see it. And then just simply right click and paste, and you'll see the design pops in. Now I can just make this larger. I can move it around, I can rotate it. So that's one way you can do it. The other way is if you wanna use the image and you just click use image, so now it loads into the 1200 by 1200 artboard, you can actually change the size of this artboard. So when I click on the background and I go into artboard, which is under settings, you're gonna see the artboard now is 1200 by 1200. I can actually change the artboard size right at the bottom. I can click on 5000, for example, by 5000, and I can click confirm, and you'll see now the artboard has changed, and now I can just act like this is my new artboard. I can just move this, make it a lot bigger, and if I wanted to work on this for a t-shirt design or a fine art print, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, another tip that I've got is when you're scrolling through your images and you pick one, you're going to see two very important pieces of information. One is the prompt details. And sometimes they're simple and sometimes they're complex. And you can actually copy this prompt. Simply click copy prompt. And now your prompt is now sitting inside your computer's memory. And you can now use it if you were to go back and create a design from scratch. So here, for example, I'm back on my artboard. I'm gonna go into image generator, describe my image, and I can simply paste in my artboard prompt. I can then pick a different image style if I wanted. So for example, Art Deco, and I can click Generate Image. And as we can see here, we get a completely different image back. It's the exact same prompt, so you can really have some fun playing around with the same prompt, but different art styles. Now you may wanna vectorize your artwork that you see here or that you create yourself, and it's pretty easy to do. Occasionally, you're going to see a design like this one here, the fantasy creature, that's created in the vector art style. So if I were to use this image, I'll click on use image, it'll pop in. You'll see that I'll have the object color over on the right hand side and I can change it. So because this is a vector, I can change the image color. Very easy to do. However, most AI art is not a vector. And so for example, if I click on this one, daughter with father, this is a t-shirt graphic. So if I use this image, you're not going to get the option to change the colors on the top right because it's not a vector. 
So you can vectorize it pretty easily. Over on the right hand side, there's an image vectorizer. Now when you click it, you're going to have an option. One color, right up through 16 colors. You'll have to make up your own mind about how many colors you want to use. I typically will use as many as I can to make the image look good, but no more than that. And it changes the image now into a vector. I can still move it around, I can still change it, but you'll see there's object colors now on the top right. And so I could change those colors and I can make the vector however I want. I can make it darker, lighter. I can basically use it now as a vector. So a common concern that I get from artists using Kittle, they say, hey, I really like Kittle, it's really fun to use, but I'm just not very creative. Is there any tips you've got for me? And I absolutely. So let's use, for example, this one here, Roaring Psychedelic Tiger. I'm gonna click on it. And we're going to see the style is detailed drawing and the copy prompt here, it says Roaring Psychedelic Tiger with sunglasses. I'm gonna copy that prompt. I like this design and you can create variants of it. So I've created a display size template. I'm gonna go over here to Image Generator. I'm going to paste in my image prompt and now I'm gonna pick a different style of image. I'll do foggy scenery, for example, and I'll click Generate Image. So as we can see here, it's a completely different looking image and all I did was change the art style. Now you could use the same art style too, but changing the different art style is a really easy way that you can create a radically looking different design. And of course, you can always just change in one word. So here I've replaced sunglasses with top hat. I'll generate the image. So check that out. It's a completely different design and all I did was change one word. That's pretty powerful AI artwork. All right, here's that bonus tip I was talking about. Check out this model over here on the left hand side. When I click on it, you're gonna see there's a prompt detail, but there's no actual art style. So I'm gonna copy the prompt. I'm now gonna go into my Kittle template and I'm gonna go up here to the top and paste in that prompt, but I'm not going to select an image style. I think it's intuitive that we wanna select an image style because it's an option. I'm not gonna select any image style and I'm going to generate the image. So how cool is that? Here's a completely different lady. This is the original image, the exact same prompt, and we've got a completely different looking human being. So remember this when you're looking through the designs. You may see something that's super neat, like this one here. It says, Attractive Alien Woman Metallic. The style used was Synthwave. So what I'm gonna do now is in my prompt, I'm gonna put that in, but I'm not going to select any style at all. And I'll click Generate Image. And here we can see a completely different looking image. So it's almost as if there's a hidden image style inside of Kittle by simply not selecting an image style. I really hope you found this video walkthrough helpful. I love using Kittle. Link is in the video description below. Check it out. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand journey using the awesome powers of Kittle.